stay some time. Okay, what some time mean? You know those words can be scary? Our friend here, Julius, saying stay some time. Your, your statement like Allah, like Allah, he said, okay, you remind me of a verse in the Quran. Julius, listen carefully. When the Arab, they asked Muhammad, why you don't have a miracle, you idiot? Muhammad, he gave them a very serious answer. He said, stay some time. <laughs> Chapter 5, verse 168. The Arab, they are saying, why? Like, okay, okay look, listen, listen. We never saw an angel coming to you. We never saw you doing one miracle. You have nothing. Why you don't even just do one, make one miracle, man? Just one miracle. So look what Allah, he told Muhammad. Allah told Muhammad, tell them, wait, and I am waiting with you. What the heck? Allah is waiting too? And the Muslim, to fix it, they add between two brackets, we too waiting. Wait. Say, wait, you, we are waiting. Look, what do you mean we are? Who's, who's, who's saying we are waiting? Who, who? I mean, that's amazing. So, Jonas is asking me to stay some time. Is that the time you are talking about? Since 1400 years we are waiting and the miracle never happened. Imagine you ask Jesus to make a miracle and Jesus says to you, Okay, just wait, just wait, you know. You know. <laughs> no, with Jesus, you cannot do that. They bring him the one who cannot walk, carry your bed and walk. The one who cannot see, give him eyes. Even the Bible says nobody even can count how many miracles he did. Even Mufti Mink, the video of him is there saying that Jesus used to wave his hand, just wave his hand. And the multitude of a crowd, all of them, they are healed. The crowd, all, all. Not one, not two, thousands, tens of thousands. He waved his hands. That is my Lord, my friend. The God of Muhammad, they challenged him for a miracle. We never saw you having an angel coming to you. We never saw a sign from you. We never saw anything from you. So what the proof that you are a prophet? Allah tell them, wait. And I'm waiting with you. Allah waiting for who? I mean, this guy, he keep calling me. I feel sorry, Jack. Let us see if he can talk. Hello? Hello? My friend, your voice is very cutting. I think he I think he's calling me from Lebanon. He's Lebanese, he have a Lebanese accent. Yeah, in Lebanon they don't have good internet and they have nothing. Because of Islam, Lebanon is destroyed. Look at this country. Just bring Islam to any country, the country is screwed up. Anyway, I want to say, guys, if you are waiting for a miracle, then you go to Jesus. If you are waiting for a miracle to happen from Muhammad, Muhammad is dead and Jesus is alive. The one who want to follow a dead, he is a dead man. The Messiah, he said, let the dead bury the dead. Christians, they don't die. The Lord, he said, whoever believe in me and die, he will live. Whoever. And we trust the Messiah for everything he said he did. When he said to the man, carry your bed and walk, the man, he carried his bed and walk. When he said to the dead man, come from the ground. The dead man come from the ground. Even when they crucified him, he promised he will be back. He said, you can destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. That is the Messiah, my friend. The Messiah is the one we can trust. Muhammad is the one we can bust. Easy. Muhammad is a fraud. Is a person have no ethic. Not only he have zero miracles. Not only his teaching is evil. 
but he represents the devil himself. The devil, he come to you and use all kind of windows in your house. One window for the sun, one window for the air, one window for the chimney. There's many windows in your house. He will find his way. And if there is a window for religion only, he will come to you from the window of religion. So he can fool you. This is why the Lord, he says, be aware of false teachers. They will come to you in a clothes of a sheep. When Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, he did not only say he's God. He just announced that there's no death with him. He just announced that whoever believes in Jesus will live forever and he is victorious and nobody can overcome him. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Muhammad? Hmm. The man who was busy making verses about penises and vaginas? My family, some of you are younger than me, some of you may be older than me, but all of you are family. Be united and don't be proud about yourself. But we can proud only about one name. His name is the Messiah, the Christ, who the devil, when he see him, will melt like salt in water, will dissolve. And even the devil Muhammad could not deny that, and he mentioned that in his book. He said, when the Antichrist, he see the Messiah, will dissolve like salt in water. That is our Lord. When Shaitan came to Muhammad, Muhammad received satanic verses. When Shaitan, he came to Jesus, he will dissolve like salt. That is my Lord. Who is yours, Muhammadan? A man having 16 privilege, 11, 12 of them is about his private part in his pocket. My Lord is holy. Your God is dummy. My God, he say and he do. Your God is a Scooby-Doo. Even cartoon makes sense more than him. This is your brother Christian Prince serving you humbly for today. I see you tomorrow in the other channel and the admins are posting the link and the link is down in the info and it is in the message you see in blue. Join us tomorrow. Remember in different channel, not in this channel, starting from tomorrow, which is going to be Saturday. God bless you. Christ is Lord. And we we'll see you soon again. Take care.